there's not fermented pudding. There's another substance that uh, <laughs> that, that could be called. Oh, it's yogurt. Yes. <laughs> Good mythical morning. We're about to unleash our darts to guess where school lunches originate around the world. But first, have you checked out votelikeabeast.com? I have. Well, it's a very easy to use website that we created to help empower you to vote. Yeah, votelikeabeast.com will help you register to vote, find out when to vote, and let you know the best ways to vote safely. And we've also included links to help you connect the dots between what you care about and specific candidates on your ballot because that's what it means to vote like a beast, to vote based on your beliefs and to make sure that your voice is heard. And if you needed even more reasons, how about this? If we register 18,000 people by election day, we will host our first ever highly interactive music slash game slash food filled good mythical morning all day live stream. Yeah, this could be huge y'all. So head on over to votelikeabeast.com to register. Now, speaking of your voice being heard, how many comments from One Mythical Beast do you think it takes for us to make the episode that they suggest? Oh, just one, you think? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're the YouTube user Baint, I think I'm saying that right, Baint. Who it's knows? A lot. Dang, Baint! We, yeah, we, quiet. It's we cool. got you. We, we got you. Okay, Baint, your timing is impeccable because around the world, a whole lot constant. of kids, teens and tweens are getting back into swing of school and whether you're schooling at home or schooling at an actual school. I can't tell anymore. It don't matter because it's time for Where, where in, in the, the world, world do these international, international school lunches, lunches come, come from? from? All right, we're gonna try a school lunch that is typically served to students somewhere in the world and we're gonna guess where that place is by darting over here at that country towards lunch lady cartographer Chase. Hello. Hey. How's it going? The person with the lowest score at the end is the winner, and since I won last time, uh, Link, you get a special advantage start, the PB and Jart, which is an open face PB and J sandwich that you can just throw directly at the board. Whatever splatters closest to the right answer, you know how it works. Mm -hmm. The winner will be crowned teacher's pet, and the loser will get a big fat spitball in their ear. Look at this, we got the lunch tray with, it, with the bowl of soup. You remember soup day? Oh yeah, I don't know if I should say this, but I feel good about winning this one because my Aunt Vicky was a lunch lady. Did she tell you about things around the world? I was a student. What's this, like a lentil and spinach thing? Mmm. You don't like that? I don't. You don't like lentil soup? Um, yeah, I do typically, but not that one. We got some beets here. Uh, I mean. This is good stuff. There's a roll and. I, I, <laughs> You just learned Angry a little grapes. bit about Link's palate. It's like, this is good stuff. We got beets, we got carrots. I mean. It's, I mean, it's good for you. Okay. It's good for the children of the world. Okay, uh, that's what I would call a crepe, and that's what I'm gonna base my decision on. I'm gonna move back yeah. so that you can throw. Okay, so. See, I, I, I covered my plate with a, a doily crepe there. That is a thin crepe. There's absolutely nothing about this meal that shouts, I am from the East. It really speaks of somewhere in the European continent, and they really enjoy crepes in France. Wee oui, wee, oui. you going for the France. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that was a good shot. Um, this crepe, it's interesting that there's a crepe, that the crepe is served as a dessert kind of a thing, and there's also a roll, you're doubling up on the on What, the what do they here. like bread? It's a France infusion into another place, and where would that be? Well, you tell me. You're Canada. the one with the dart. Canada, my friend. East coast of Canada. I'm gonna channel my inner lunch, lady. Oh yeah! You hit it, you hit Canada. Okay, you guys just ate hernikato, which is similar to split pea soup, carrots, a beet salad, panukaku, aka dessert pancakes, and a bread roll. You can find a lunch like this served at schools in Finland. Ah. No! You hold that. Yeah, hold sure. the spatula, please, Link. Sure. I mean, why did you, why do you have this? Because <laughs> I'm a lunch lady. Dang it. So we're both wrong, but somehow you're still taking the lead. <laughs> yeah, Rhett, you had 15. Link, you had 29. Oh, that's more. Mm. So much to enjoy. Smorgasbord of food here. Uh, I'm, I'm going not, for the things I don't understand. I'm gonna start with this, this sugary donut. That's like a slaw of some sort. This is a slaw, I thought it was chicken salad. Uh, there might be some chicken in there. Now obviously there's like a whole thing of salmon here. This is, this is, this is the main, 
This is the main headline. Salmon and some sort of ganache. We have a, just a random piece of white bread just thrown onto the plate. Not even on the plate, just on the tray. Yeah, I mean. A donut this, and an orange, just an orange? The slaw here is the strange thing to me. Like I've never tasted anything like that. Right, so this is from a place that you haven't tasted yet. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this could be a joke round. Like it's like, hey, let's let's confuse them. Uh, what salmon, rice, bread, donut, orange? <laughs> just you know, it has, you don't think it's anything. It has a little bit of a rando quality to it. Aim for that sponge down there. To me, it has the quality of a place that was more recently modernized slash settled. And also, there's fish. There's only one place on the on the earth that they would be willing to do this kind of thing, and that's Iceland, my friend. You're getting it confused with Greenland. There's One more is... people. Iceland's actually less icy than Greenland. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Yeah, you're telling everybody nothing they didn't already know. Oh! oh poor what? See, you're over there in a, Canada. What's a weird, what just happened to my hand? I don't know. Gosh. I too am thinking Iceland. The, the term smorgasbord is Icelandic, and it is the board that they serve their fish and donut breakfast on. So you agree? If it's Canada, I'm gonna be so angry with you. I didn't eat any of this in Canada. Iceland. Oh, <laughs> how did that happen? There's something. Hey, hey and, I, and when you, you know it, I'm on the far side on. of his dart. Do you have magnets on today? <laughs> because I felt like both of our arms got pulled to the left. Yeah, okay. Man. Chase is wearing magnets again, isn't he? He's magnetized. I do not believe he is magnetized today. We did search him before he we're, came to set. We're only of that eating last a donut. Time. Out of this, off of this plate. I ate the whole donut. You guys just had a hearty school lunch consisting of baked salmon, rice, bread, a celery root salad, orange, and a sugar donut, and a side of ratatouille. This school lunch can be found at schools in France. <laughs> what? Come on. No, listen. France, y'all are known for how you eat. And you're teaching your children that this is how you should eat? Yep, Rhett, you had 22, Link, 24. <laughs> bah! Oh, God. This looks like it needs to be assembled. Like, this is a deconstructed school launch. A big, this is a, it's a huge. Do you smell the smell that breast. I smell? I'm trying to ignore it. There's some sort of corn salad thing. Oh, my gosh. And then that gelatinous. Oh, my Lord, smell that. <laughs> What is that? Is that, it's a, it's a organ. I feel like I gotta taste it. Oh gosh. You're disrespecting my fellow international lunch peoples. I mean, I'm sorry Chase. It's a gelatinous loaf that has been sliced. I'm gonna have to eat that with a bunch of rice. It smells way worse than it tastes. It tastes just like, like rotten <laughs> jello. That's what it is. They're, they're serving children rotten jello somewhere y'all. We gotta help them out. And this is just regular chicken, right? <coughs> Is there a seasoning? <laughs> Can I learn anything from this? That's just regular chicken. And then corn and white, white, white cucumbers. It's like a pickled something. A pickled. That went wrong. Uh, Actually, that's informative. I'm not gonna learn much in that school. Man. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna be starving. I'm sure that the children who enjoy this enjoy it. Now, typically, when you eat something that is so different, again, your, your palate tends to move as far away as possible from your own palate, right? So you, you come over here to the east, but right? But you gotta remember, if you keep going, you're going- you're But going, you come all the way back. You're gonna tag yourself in the in the tush. Well, I'm going in between Cambodia and Uzbekistan. Or just above Uzbekistan. Okay, let's see. It still I'm, smells horrible. Uzbekistan is my official guess. I have to try to box you out here. So well, that means you need to hit it. Yeah, I just need to hit it. I gotta go for the gusto here. Oh, shoot. I mean, for me, that's pretty freaking accurate. That's what's so frustrating. In addition to small sides of seasoned chicken, rice, and corn salad, the star of this school lunch is a hearty bowl of stewed devil's tongue, also known as konyaku. Devil's tongue is wildly unique because it's about as close to a zero calorie food as you can find, and it's made up of 97% water. And students enjoy this lunch in Japan. Japan, and of course he's closer. But <laughs> look at, but if it's 97%, what's the 3% that makes it so unpalatable to my American tongue? Dashi, it's a fermented tuna spine, I believe. Oh, really delicious. tuna spine. 
Okay. Yeah, that's yeah it. I think that's going to yeah, be. You it. landed on it. Dachi, fermented tuna spine. All right. Rhett had 20. Link had 26. Oh, boy. It's a little bit further away every time. Oh, okay. This is a, a little breakfast item here. Yeah, we got like a egg and sausage situation. Uh, and then some chickpeas and some sort of sauce. We got ourselves some pudding. Boy, I, you know, I was a pudding master. I'd be trading this stuff on the black market and like going behind dumpsters at my school. Hey, you want some pudding? Well, try this pudding. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> That's uh. What's going on you with know the what? pudding? No, it's not horrible. It's just it's tart. It's fermented. Mm, I like it. Once I know, I, once I know what to expect. Is it? Is there banana in it? It's I like love where your minds are at. Right. I don't. I. I like, kind of just want to tell you what's fermented. There's not fermented pudding. There's another substance that uh, <laughs> that that could be called. Oh, it's yogurt. Yes. <laughs> I, I love this fermented the fact, banana. The fact banana that you pudding. were able to plant pudding in my mind and then make me think that this was <laughs> messed up pudding. Hey man, you should use that That's skill more. I'm, I'm a pudding fiend. You man. went so hard on pudding. I was like, "This is not pudding, is it?" I like it. I like it when I think of it as yogurt. It might pudding. be banana yogurt though. You're still winning. Hey, look, 22, 22 centimeters. 22 centimeters can be wiped out like that in this game. When I first saw this sausage with the egg, there was just something about Brazil that hit me. But the chickpea and the tomatoes, that's not Brazil. Oh, you know what? Spanish sausage or Spanish even chorizo is more of a whole sausage as opposed to like what you would find in Mexico, which is more granular. So I'm going for Spain. I'm going for Spain. He's going for Spain because of the sausage. What'd you think about that logic, pudding boy? So we got the sausages. I mean, 22 centimeters, man. Wide open. You still got a PB in jarred. I'm going for Spain. Jarred. I'm playing defensively. You know what? I'm changing it to Uzbekistan. Yep, there you go. There you go. I mean. I've got to try. They got yogurt in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Yeah. And I'm gonna. Uzbekistan, I, I got it in there. I'm gonna split the difference between your dart and Uzbekistan. All right, that's, there's a lot going on in that one. Uh, a little high, but that is where I aimed. Okay, this school lunch includes huevos con salchichas, ah. garbanzos guisados, and banana yogurt. A combo so specific that it could only be served in Spain. Uh, ah. I should have gone directly for Spain. Yeah. Dang it. When you're thinking of Spain, go right there. All right, Rhett, you had five, Link, 15. Oh. Okay, just hmm. another 10. You're still in it, man. Okay, we got some sort of stuffed tater with... I just call this a baked potato. Tuna and corn? Oh no, it might be pudding. Is it pudding? No pudding, man. Is this potato pudding? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. We got some um, peas and corn, and look, we got blueberries and raspberries, so you know what that means. Oh, it's time to make Timberlake. A, time to make a blasberry. Never pass up an opportunity to blasberry it. Um, oh yeah. Okay, now. Brings back memories. A couple of things happen on this final round. First of all, it's a country that's not even on, it's not designated on the map. It's on the map, but it's not one of the ones that we have labeled. And also Link is definitely going to use the PB and Jart. And you're definitely going first. Okay. To try to gain more separation beyond your 32 point lead. It's not a foregone conclusion that I'm going to win. I mean, it is likely. Huh, speak for yourself. Um, so you got a baked potato, which I've never seen Stuffed. outside of America. Um, but I've never ordered a baked potato in any other country. And I'm actually not that well-traveled. <laughs> uh, I just give the appearance of someone who is. Um, I spent some time in Eastern Europe, and this is the kind of thing that I would have expected to see, just to be honest with you. I think I'm going for just general Eastern Europe. Go go high though. Yes, he's hot. Okay, now I just need to find a way to slather my PB and jart everywhere. It's pretty, you know, I have left the door open. I'm gonna have to smear from China and then get some Brazil in it. From China to Brazil, that's, that's what the pudding man's going for. Wow, he's going sidearm. Uh oh, don't miss the board. It didn't do anything. 
Well, no, you got splattered to the west, to the west of you got West Africa. Oh, yeah, and I'm all way down over there, there around, around South South America. Okay, okay. So the school lunch in front of you has a baked potato with salmon mayonnaise, peas and carrots, and fresh fruit, and can be found in school cafeterias across Scotland. Ah, you. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't get very far. It just moved over to Scotland and they started putting fish on it. Ah. Yeah, Rhett had nine and Link had 10. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, it, it's tempting to get frustrated, but I'm gonna focus on the positive. What's that? I had pudding and it turned into yogurt. <laughs> ah, that's you right. Know, how many people can say that? Not many, man. Not many. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Tiffany in Louisville, Kentucky. Caring is cool. I just filled a hundred backpacks with supplies for students around Kentuckiana, for Big Brothers Big Sisters, and uh, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Caring is cool. Way to go. Thanks for doing that. Click the top link to watch us try and guess school supplies by smell alone in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality's gonna land. Make your voice heard and vote like a beast. Visit votelikeabeast.com for all your voting needs.